Hi, my friends. I'm on Walker Time Shine Homestead, and today we're going to talk about positive energy and how positive energy works, my friends. Now, you guys are all aware that I've lo I lost almost all my tomato plants, and all these tomato plants here, the Dem's going to home in here. These were all, except for that one, that one still came back, but these were all fried out in the sun. So all I did, my friends, to if you see that there's still purple veins left on your plants, if you have LED fluorescent grow lights, red and blue spectrum, I'm using three red and blue spectrums and two cool whites, you can bring them back. Let's look at the size of these now. And I was going to give up on them. Now see how they have no water in them anymore, my friends? I will water them today. And you know how I brought them back? You're going to find, find this amazing. All I did was go outside and get some rainwater, and I put rainwater in all of these tomato plants and they came back which is amazing and this is a plant that wild edo gives me it's a special tomato plant the tomatoes come out yellow i mean purple first you think they're ripe but they're not they're not ripe until they're yellow this one was drooping too because i put it out in the sun and fried it but then i put it underneath the grow lights give it some rainwater now look at it that's what it's like you see these are dry now i will water these this morning they're bone dry i'll water these this morning with rainwater and they will jump and uh, the peppers are doing well. Positive energy is all you need. This is a pumpkin plant. These are all from seed, my friends. They're just waiting to go outside. Everything you see here is just waiting to go outside. And we'll take you over here to the window, too. Look how big all these uh, vegetable seedlings are. There's pumpkins, squash, cucumbers, corn. There's every you name it, it's here. Now, there's some cucumbers over here. I left them outside. And good thing I got out just before morning. Only, I, th I think I'm only going to lose one, and he may come back. But they're all, they're all, they're all surviving. So what I'm going to emphasize too, my friends, if you're going to put cucumbers outside early, you should bring them in at night. I almost made the same mistake as I did last year and lose a bunch of them. And I can't afford to lose plants, my friends. But you see, these are tomato seedlings too. They're waiting to go outside. They're a little, a uh, little too tall, but they're doing well. Believe it or not, guys, all you need is positive energy, my friends, and things will work out for you. Trust me, it will work out. If you have a negative attitude, and things might get worse, but I just had a positive, I, I truly have a positive energy about life and everything. If you have a positive energy, things are going to work out for you. Now, if there's any any uh, questions you guys want to ask about seedling plants, if you're having any problems with them, please comment, please comment, or I'll do a video. Uh, of any problems you guys are having i'm not the best gardener by far but i do know a lot and i truly don't make mistakes very often because this food i'm growing guys dem's going to bring you back in here again is for my family um later on this week i will do a shed work teaching video i just haven't had time lately i've been really busy i have a friend down from from texas which i hope he's been having a good time i think he likes canada i don't think he likes the bugs here in canada though do you um Yes, we did catch some fish the other day. We did lose quite a few. They're just breaking, breaking up. They're big fish. They're breaking us off. But so I think the next time we go fishing, we will be using nothing but steel ears. But anyways, my friends, that's going to be my video for today. I just wanted to give you an update on everything and what positive energy does. You just got to think positive, and usually things will work out. Like these are just cucumber seedlings. Look at the size of them already. And I'll grow them in a, yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about. I, uh, this year I'm just growing my cucumbers in a patch. I'm not going to grow them in singles. The same with squash and pumpkins. There'll be a couple in each, each, each spot. Same with tomatoes. I'm going to grow two or three together and tie them. Um, make sure you have lots of nitrogen in your soil. Make sure your manure is broke down at least a year and a half. Don't be, easy way to test. If you see stuff growing out of your manure, then you know it's safe to use. If there's nothing growing out of, out of your manure, or there is the odd plant growing in your manure and it's yellowing off, it's not ready. But if you have lots of grass growing in your manure and it's green, and you have other kinds of weeds and stuff you don't know is growing, you know your manure is ready, my friends. So that's going to be my video for today. I will be coming out with a Shepherd's video probably on Saturday, guys. Um, but I just want to say much love. God bless you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends. God bless.